Where are we going to now? We're going to the physics department. It's through that door. So what have you seen this morning so far? Um, we've seen light and frost maze. You go up to about 200 degrees, which is the light and frost temperature. That actually forms droplets. The bottom part of the droplet evaporates, and so there's a layer of gas vapour. And the droplet now sits on top of that vapour. Yeah. And the fiber of the cab cables, and if they fire the laser down the cables, it goes from one end of the spectrum to the other. We make optical fibers here, and we make them slightly different and not used for telecoms, but the principle is the same. The point of the laser is here in this it's block. What I've got stuck onto the end of the laser is two meters of um, the kind of optical fiber that we do the research on here. So this is no longer infrared. The optical fiber has actually changed the color of the light as it propagates down it. As we hit it with more and more power, you get more and more light spreading deeper and deeper through the visible. So what else have you seen this morning that you uh, quite enjoyed? We've seen a scanning electron microscope. Um, this is a scanning tunneling microscope lab as it sees atoms, okay? If I move my probe back and forth, looking at different, uh, going from atom to atom to atom, I can see where current flows and where current doesn't. So basically in here, this is where the microscope the is. And um, the, basically we have a probe which is a piece of metal, yeah. and that is situated on these things called piezoelectrics. Yes. Okay. Which basically move if you apply an electrical current. Explain the Mission to Mars project. So the Mission to Mars project is a really exciting adventure for us at, in physics and math. Um, we're involving five local schools. We're trying to, to get the pupils in years seven and eight um, really interested, really enthusiastic about physics. And we're looking for them to use their creativity, to use their physics knowledge, to, to think about the problems that would be involved in colonising Mars and to think what, how they could design some solutions. What kind of thing are you two going to be working on for this project? Um, we're going to be working on the exploration and transportation side of the Mars. Uh, uh, it's going to be working on the survival and power. The main idea that you've come up with so far for uh, sort of living on Mars? Um, underground. So we're going to live underground, like, like totally. The things that are actually going to be above ground are going to be related with generating power. Yeah.